Asperger's and being gullible and nice. I wanted to address a few things. I have known little to none people in my life that have had Asperger's, but I know from my own personal experience and I've read that they can be extremely naive and extremely nice. I know for myself, I was easily taken advantage of, loan money, stupid stuff. The way I look at it is people were innocent until proven guilty, at least with trusting people. I believed everybody was good until they gave me a reason to think that they weren't good. This is the opposite way that I think people should be going about it. People should be guilty until proven innocent. It doesn't necessarily mean that we should be paranoid and just be freaking out all the time, but I think that people should just be a tiny bit cautious about what you share around that person. You know, and get your hopes up too much right away. And you'll see after a while whether that person is decent or not. People tend to have red flags if they're a bad friend. I've noticed that there's people I probably could have gotten them out of my life sooner. I was extremely gullible, extremely naive, and extremely nice when I was younger. But that expression, nice guys finish last, it's not just that they finish last, it's that they can very easily be taken advantage of, and people might mess with you and tell you these weird stories that don't really make sense just to see the look on your face and I think you got a lot of people like that too. It took time for me to kind of come out of that. A big part of that was that I went to a private school for a few years and kind of got kicked out or left because of a horror story I wrote and suddenly was lunged back into the real world and I didn't know anything and it was frightening. And that's what sort of led to my confusion with that coming out story of that other video but that's why that all happened but Anyway, I'm sort of wondering with other Asperger's people, and I'm finding some of them on YouTube lately, how nice, how gullible they used to be. And I also know that there are situations where Asperger's people, they're nice when they shouldn't be. And I have my own example of that. This is weird, but I was a... This is after swim class, I was taking shower, drying off, getting my clothes back on, and this Asian kid comes up to me and says, Hi, I want to be your friend. You have a big one. I like big one. And he, like, makes excuses to lunge at it and actually kind of touches it. And I, I made him, you know, back off and go away. And instead of feeling okay about doing that, it's like I felt bad, like I was mean to him. And I kept having this back and forth with him because I bumped into him at least like three times after that where this guy was a sexual predator. He was a pervert. But still, I would feel bad if I said something to him to make him go away. Eventually, luckily, because my friend and myself told cops about it, finally, um, he was actually arrested and expelled. And this kid was a creep. But this is just an example of I did not need to feel bad about anything I did in that situation. But I also would get tongue-tied, not so much a stutter, but tongue-tied. I couldn't get the words out in situations. It's, I feel like I found my voice later in life. As far as people are often really uncomfortable with their own, in their own skin earlier, and that's how I felt. I was just uncomfortable with myself. I don't, I don't know why. But I felt that a lot, and it wasn't until later I started to love myself more and be able to get words out better. It, when things would surprise me, they would take me off guard and be I'd be really shocked. I wouldn't know what to say. It was very easy for bullies to pick on me for that reason in situations. But later on I found confidence and I was able to be more articulate. I'd like to hear from other Asperger's people and similarities with these issues.